to disagree with uh, Steve Harmson there. That was our uh, coverage the day mm. of day one. 218 all out uh, England. India trailing by 83 ones. Just one and Rohit put on decent totals and the wicket looks pretty good pretty so good, far yeah, from yeah. a batting point of view. Um, lost their last eight wickets for 81 runs. England at one stage... Five for eight in thirty-seven. I don't deliveries. think we can blame Basball here, Paulie. I don't think they were just—they weren't just trying to get the skin off it, but they—they they were just playing bad shots a lot of the time. Well, let's find out. Uh, former England uh, batsman and coach Mark Ramprakash joins us. Hi, Ramps. Afternoon, guys. Um, I mean, you—you've you've seen the wickets. If uh, were they good balls? I'm sure they. I mean, I suppose it's a bit of both. They put some bad shots and some good balls. Well, yeah, look, just first of all, thanks for inviting me on to, to discuss another England batting club. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ramps. <laughs> well, it's difficult. I mean, <laughs> apart from one test, it's been difficult to talk about anything else. <laughs> no, fair enough. Mm. Um, look, I, yeah, I, I and I, you just said about Basball, and of course there's been so much talk about Basball. I, I think first and foremost, we've got to praise Zach Crawley and, and Ducky. They got mm. us off to another start. Zach Crawley played beautifully. And, he, you know, he's identified throughout the series that, you know, if he's going to really go on and make an impactful score for his team to go on and win the game, then he's got to get to three figures. And, you know, you felt like he was getting so close, he's, he's kind of deserved it. But uh, he played beautifully, no question about it. Um, but then we sort of come to that middle order, that experienced middle order in Root, Bearstow and Stokes. And you know what? In the main, throughout this series, apart from Root's brilliant 100 the last test, you know, they've managed, India have managed to keep them quiet. There are three best players and today they got out, they were outskilled. You know, mm. Root's, uh, the pre previous delivery to Root getting LBW, it turned sharply. The one he got LBW uh, went straight on. Uh, you know, it's a really good piece of bowling. Bairstow didn't read the googly and fell out of his crease, got stumped. And of course, and Stokes didn't read the googly either. So, you know, those three are our best players. They are capable of making big scores. And unfortunately, they didn't manage to cash in on what was, a, again, you know, if you, if you back, if you get to bat first uh, on day one of, of a match in India in a test match, you know, it's a big advantage. And, mm. and unfortunately, England just couldn't push it home. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was our choice. I mean, we, we, you know, we won the toss and have really not taken advantage Off, well, of Well, we've often done this uh, in, in the baseball reign. Uh, in, in the past, have gone out, get what we get, and then, you know, try and win the game in in the uh, in the second innings, but it didn't feel like they were doing it on purpose. No, it looks like it's going to... I mean, how do you come back from this? It's really difficult to make a case, isn't it? I mean, looking at the wicket, looking at the way India have started, they're going to put on a pretty decent total. It's, uh, uh, can you see a way England could win from here? Well, you know, I was thinking back to the first match, actually, because Oli Pope, they were talking about Oli Pope on commentary and, and how he, he got 190 in that first test match and then he's only got another 100 runs in eight innings on the trip so he'll be desperately disappointed with that but the fact is he got that 190 and England managed to turn around a match that they should have lost you know every single time yeah so you, you just you cannot write out or write off England's side because the batsmen are so dynamic when they do get in they really can hurt you like Ben Duckett when he got his 150 mm -hmm. um but you can't keep doing it throughout the series and England have found that you can't keep conceding first innings leads it looks really ominous. You know, the Indians put things in perspective um, with some fantastic batting. And obviously, you know, we come back to the spinners. You know, there's been a lot of talk about these spinners and a lot of praise, rightly so, for the two spinners. But they are very young and they are very inexperienced. And, you know, they got put into perspective a little bit um, uh, in this in the afternoon session there with Rohit and Joswal sort of cutting loose. So, um, you know, that... I know McCullum was talking in the week about, you know, getting opportunities in county cricket, but, you know, these guys have still got, although they've handled the occasion and the series very well in India, they've still got a huge amount to learn. And when you contrast that with the Indian spinners, they are very experienced. Mm. Ashwin, 37, Jajaja over 30, and Kuldip, uh, who's had a brilliant series, he, he also has taken his time to mature. So he he's mid to late 20s now. So, you know, there is food for thought and, and a bit of heart to be taken that Hartley and Bashir, hopefully can continue their development. And their job's made harder, Ramps, because they got, haven't got much to bowl at, have they? It makes it mm. far more difficult, really, when, you know, the, the Indian batsmen can sort of take their time and play their way in as they have kind of throughout this. So it puts more pressure on inexperienced bowlers. Yeah, and that's the thing about cricket. You know, often if one uh, aspect or one element of your team is doing really well, i.e. the batters, it really helps the bowlers or vice versa. You know, I always remember Phil Tufnell... 
uh, when he was, you know, watching us bat, which wasn't often because often he was asleep. But when he was watching, <laughs> um, uh, when he was watching, he would always say as a spin bowler, he liked a lot of runs, you know, and, and the same with John Embry. So you're right, you know, uh, it's tough for Bashir because Ben Stokes is trying to uh, get the balance between con- stop conceding boundaries, but also trying to keep catches, keep slips and short legs in play to to when when there are good balls that we've got wicket taking catches around the bat. So it'll be interesting mm. to see what uh, what happens tomorrow. Well, we're relying on a collapse, aren't well, we? we are, which, which isn't incoming, is it? Is, uh, the, is the trouble? Yeah. There, did you see anything in the wicket really from, uh, within? I mean, the conditions changed. You know, the weather looked a whole lot better in the afternoon, which didn't help us either. So, did you see anything in the wicket? Ramps suggest, you know, we can go at them tomorrow and get some early wickets. Look, uh, I mean, England, England's four bowlers. Mark Wood has, has had a good. You know, he's had some good games in India. Uh. Um, you know, in the morning, it might be slightly, uh, you know, cooler. Uh, you know, he's still got the pace and hostility to rip out a couple of wickets. Mm. Anderson, we know what he brings to the party. So, look, Stokes will have to rotate his bowlers. Mm. He's got to try and uh, find something, whether it's an inspirational catch or a run out or something, uh, and then hope to work on a new batter. So, you know, in- England have got to stick to their guns. I mean, look, one thing we know is that it's not through lack of effort. These lads are trying their best in very difficult circumstances. I mean, trying to get on top and bat well against these three Indian spinners. It's like opposition players coming to England and trying to hit bat well and dominate Broad and Anderson. Well, over the years, they've not been able to do it. So it's been a really tough ask for us. You know, I, I think the effort is there, but at the moment, the skill levels India possess have just won the day. Well, good to talk to you as always. Thanks, Thanks for Rams. joining us. OK, thank you. Cheers. Mark Rambrakash there from England. Uh... Batsman got, and indeed got Bears coach. Got guaranteed 100, of course, in, in his 100th. Test if for, no, for the ab- second ab- innings, absolutely guaranteed. That would be, good. That would be nice. That was, that, a nice, get us out that was one of the nice moments of the day out on the field with his family and stuff yeah. that was cracking. So it was yeah. good for him, but not a good day for England. It all gets underway again 3 30 tomorrow morning. All the build up uh, play starts at four on day two with yeah, England pretty much behind the eight ball, but they've been there before on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.